Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And we've got some news about arrests in the UK for international drug smuggling. The NCA has released a statement today to say that a man has been arrested in South London for his involvement in a multi-ton cocaine importation from South America and also Germany. And he's been arrested by the National Crime Agency. They say he's 44 years old and was apprehended on Wednesday the 16th of June and they tracked him down to an address in South East London. You're under arrest under the Extradition Act of 2003. You've been arrested, you do not have to say anything. But anything you say may be given in evidence. Do you understand that? He's believed to have a significant role in an Albanian and German organised crime gang behind cocaine importations for a number of years. They are said to have associates in South America and Europe that facilitate the movement of drugs around the world. Deputy Director Andrea Wilson from the National Crime Agency said, This man has gone to great lengths to evade law enforcement in the UK and Germany, and he used the EncroChat platform in order to communicate with his associates. His arrest is a culmination of a long collaborative effort with the NCA and our colleagues as well. They go on to say that the West Balkan crime gangs, aka Albanian, have a presence on all stages of cocaine supply, from South America all the way to the UK and they have a significant role in wholesale involvement in the UK as well and this was in order to try to disrupt that group as well so as you can see this connects everything this isn't just the little picture about what's going on on the council estate this is a worldwide operation that involves a lot of different groups and people fighting to try to get the competition just in the past day alone Spanish police have intercepted tons of drugs coming from South America via Spain and then on to the UK. Spanish police found 1,400 kilos in containers hidden at a port. The seizure was the product of two consecutive operations, they said, 184 kilos and 1,200 kilos, and they said the merchandise originated from South America. The total of the drugs would have valued £86 million in the illicit market, and 1,400 kilos in total was discovered. They said they've ripped apart the framework of this importation and they work together with custom surveillance services and agents of the civil guard in order to execute this seizure. In both of the cases, there was detecting irregularities in the containers when they came into the ports. And as it was being unloaded, they decided to search some of them and they found cocaine and a large number of packages. They have now launched investigations into money laundering to try to find out how this money and drugs was coming into the country and also out as well. They've also recently seized 8,500 kilograms of cannabis that was detected trying to be imported in via submarines and also boats. This showed the determination of the gangs to be able to bring the drugs into the country. And the police are definitely wary of Albanian gangs due to their nature of organisation. Not one case have I ever covered where Albanians have told on each other. They always just go to prison and they don't mind being deported because back in Albania, they don't have half as much as they've got from being in this country and from what they've done. There was a recent case in February. Five Albanians had been arrested for a lucrative home delivery drug racket in Tunbridge, Wales. They had sales totaling half a million pound that was organised by the gang in a 24-hour phone line to take orders and copy the drugs. Customers ordered cocaine via hotlines, giving their postcode for deliveries. So this shows that the Albanian gangs organised the importation and then they don't just stop there. They don't just sally on and make a quick drink. They then break it down and do it all on the street themselves. So they're making considerable more profits due to that as well. Because a lot of importers would just sell that on in a bulk price and try to save the hassle of getting involved in selling it on the street. But the Albanian gangs don't care. So I really appreciate you joining me for this update. Please don't forget to check us out online as well at Scar City Studios. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.